Good evening. Why was today the hardest practice of fall camp? Um, it was just a, it was, it was physical, uh, and then a bunch of, bunch of competitive situations, um, in every phase. We had some, some special teams work, kind of ones on ones. You don't get a lot of opportunities to, to practice ones versus ones in special teams, at, at, really at all. You know, much like you do, <clears throat> excuse me, on offense and defense. And so, just to get that rolling, um, then we, we do some things, extended drives, uh, with each group, um, kind of against a fresh offense or defense. Um, you know, as as the as it would play out, and um, it was it was a competitive day. The offense ended up winning, um, got out to a big lead early, and, and ended up kind of hanging on at the Any end. Particular standout? Uh, no, um, no. I think um, early on the quarterbacks were efficient. The the big lead was a, a byproduct of of kind of some one on one stuff and some situational seven on seven work, some game like. Clock, clock management situation stuff, um, and uh, so they were efficient that way. Um, and you know, again, I thought we competed very well in um, in each phase. Uh, got some young guys that didn't quite understand what we were trying to do on special teams, and so we'll get that get that cleaned up tonight. Your favorite weekly question? Any closer to naming a starting quarterback? Um, no, I mean we'll we'll come out. We'll have our our uh, practice depth chart coming up here in what a few days. Um, it's it's crazy. It's coming up on us that that soon, uh, uh, but uh, we'll uh, we'll move toward UC Davis after this final scrimmage and have all those discussions at every position. I know one's very popular, but have those discussions at every position, and it's a great situation there, and it's a great situation at, at linebacker, wide receiver, um, a couple other spots that that there's a lot of. A lot of competition and legitimate competition for, for for not only playing time on their respective units, but special teams as well. Justin Herbert is a name that we've talked about so far already in fall camp. I mean, do you think that he could possibly be a backup quarterback for you guys this year? Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think he's done things. Those other guys have done you know things well at times as well. Um, but absolutely, you no. Know, he's a he's a, a very productive guy and has had a had a very good camp so far. Decision of a guy like Jake Hansen last year, or Lovett, who didn't play but was so close, and then Springs in 2014, and Foto last year, who did play just a little bit. How do you make that decision? You got to pull out the crystal ball, and that's hard. You have to try to you try to do it at a position of depth um, or perceived depth, um, and then you have to look forward to, to game six, game seven, game eight, when unfortunately just given the game of football there's going to be some sort of attrition everywhere um, and and that's the hardest thing is is you need to make a commitment to, to play a guy if if you're gonna burn his red shirt and so um, it's tough those are the those are the toughest decisions those kind of tweener guys I mean Malik would have helped us his, his first year Jake absolutely would have helped us his first year um, but we're trying to look out for 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 their you know well-being in the in the long term it's even harder than for quarterback where you have two true freshmen who absolutely Absolutely, that's that's probably the hardest. You know, uh, again, a position ideally you play one guy, but that's not always the the uh, reality. And and uh, you know, best best case scenario don't don't uh, often match up. When you're sitting there filling out the two deep, what position group do you think is going to be the hardest for you to really set? Um, yeah, right now linebacker. You know, linebacker. I think we have a, a, again a lot of really good competition and a bunch of different athletes guys that can do things in special teams and will help us um, a lot down the road uh, playing not only linebacker but but uh, being instrumental as, as special teams guys is there a conversation with each guy is like here this is why we think you won the job this camp um, it's not so much why you won the job it's it's if that for, for that for that conversation you know those are obviously a little bit more enjoyable but it's also hey where we are right now. We always say those things are written in pencil or dry erase marker. You know, I think the only time they're printed in ink is to, to give to you guys. And so we, um, it's always competitive. It's always dynamic. And again, unfortunately, somebody's shoelace is going to break and the other guy's going to have to play. Zach being hurt behind Jake Hansen at center, who's kind of in that mix to, to replace, or not replace, but be behind Jake? Yeah, we've rotated a few guys through there. Um, Doug, Zach, uh, Cam Hunt, uh, a couple other guys that, that have taken a bunch of reps. Could just be a situational thing. Yeah, yeah, it's just going to be a, a combination of, you know, the next four best guys and how it shakes out. You said before. Oh, go ahead. I was say, is Devin back with you guys yet? He's not, and he's a, he's officially late. So now this whole Rio stuff we got through, but now 
we have problems. He's, he's in trouble. What's the early season expectation for him? I mean, is it because the opener is so quick, maybe rest him that one and see where he goes from there? Or do you have um, any idea you yeah, we play next Saturday, or so. So I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll be ready, and, and uh, we'll see where he is from a uh, physical standpoint and mental standpoint. But but uh, if there's anybody that can do it, it'd be him. Sure. He's definitely in shape, but there's a thing called, I guess, football shape. Is that going to take a little bit for him to get into? That's what we'll see. You know, he's he's been lifting quite a bit, um, and um, uh, yeah, he sent us pictures of, of of him lifting down there, and so. We'll, we'll see if it was uh, a staged situation or he was actually lifting. Anything in particular you want to see after Thursday's scrimmage? After his scrimmage? Um, just to continue to compete. You know, that, that's the thing right now. Guys are, are so overwhelmed, especially young guys, just from a, a mental standpoint. And, and we've put a ton in, um, particularly on, on offense and defense. And, and just to play fast and, and kind of not think. Um, and then... We'll, we'll kind of just sort it out from there and start defining roles. And I think I think things have already kind of started to settle in role wise. And guys, guys are you know guys are handling what they need to handle and and still competing really well. If they're not, uh, you know, if they're not where they necessarily want to be on a on a depth chart. Is that surprising? You said this team was a, an immature team, maybe emotionally. Is that surprising if they're realizing where they're at a depth chart? And um, well, we'll see that where that is long term, and that's a huge part of being a great team. You know, scout teams and, and scout teams, special teams, all those things are, are vital for, for, for us going forward. And, and you know, guys to, to say the right thing and do the right thing now, you know, four or five, six games from now, whether it's uh, extreme success or not, not doing everything we, we want to do as a team, that's where you'll be. That's where that, that will be uh, tested. Ben, you mentioned the media day that people have been predicting the demise of Oregon for a lot of years now. Do you, do you have any theories about why that might be the case? Have you given that any thought at all? I haven't. No, I haven't. I mean, I think it's all, you know, everybody wants to be the the predictor of whatever happens, but they don't really necessarily want to take the take the uh, quote unquote heat when they're they're not correct. But I, I have no idea. Just trying to be right, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you look at the track record of, over the last three years, I think most wins in the Pac-12 off the field has been really, um, really clean. Um, does the gap between perception and reality maybe, do you, does it make you scratch your head at all? Maybe a perception of volatility where it seems like it's been really stable? We really don't, we really don't talk about that. And I know there's, you know, there's a lot of stats out there that we've done a lot of good stuff, but it doesn't matter. You know, today is today, and and this group is completely different than any other group that we've ever ever had. And there's, there's a bunch of great young players. There's some coaches that are, that are new, that are hungry, and and. Uh, we just we just attack today. We really do. We don't go, man. That guy four years ago said something bad about us, and let's let's prove him wrong. Um, we just don't, you know. And, and I know that certainly we know that talks out there, and that's great uh, if it motivates somebody to lift better or sleep better or whatever, you know. However they're they're preparing. I'm guessing you guys think that pressure and high expectations are a good thing because people expect you to do well. Um, how does that does that manifest itself day to day? Do you hear from fans? You get emails. You team at the grocery store. Does that come through? Because I know you guys say that it mostly rolls off your back, but do you feel that? It's in, I mean, it's impossible now to. We used to tell guys to just you know ignore everybody and ignore. It's impossible. Uh, you know, obviously we have a, a bunch of great fans that are very passionate, and that's awesome. Uh, and then you've got people that that maybe aren't so awesome from wherever, you know, at rockhead.net that has an opinion on everything and and you just need to to listen to the right the right voices and the right inputs and that we can certainly coach them through but they're also human beings and and uh you know it affects it affects some more than others you grew up around this program you know oregon but is there anything you've learned about oregon fans or the oregon fan base as a head coach that maybe you didn't know before um no i mean i don't think it's any I, I, you know passionate that's that's and passionate is part expectations part all, all that stuff and and expectations you know is probably a word that used to be hopes and and uh dreams and now you know it morphed into expectations and that's awesome we're getting into that 10-day window that you like to call it the ideal time to name a starting quarterback has has the competition gone according to plan or has it been an ideal situation this fall camp um Man, I don't know what an ideal situation would be. That, that no, it's, that's we we're, we make every situation ideal. Um, uh, 
I think it's been it's been very positive. Um, guys have had their their days. Um, uh, you know, all all guy all all those guys continue to compete really well. Uh, it's not like, you know, man, this this guy was awful, and he's you know what I mean, a distant third, fourth, whatever. Um, and but I think I think things have also kind of shaken out in front of the team, and that's how it has to and how it has to happen. So you're going to be comfortable making that too deep then when that time comes in a couple of days? You got an idea right now in your head? I'll be comfortable. I will absolutely be comfortable. I'll be seated comfortably. Yeah. <laughs> and re- No, no, we will, uh, you know, again, at every position, we will go through all those things, and and, uh, and that's how we'll start practice for sure. How long does that take? For you guys as um, staff and... Yeah, the, 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 like we were talking about earlier, the, the you know, uh, whatever the tenth linebacker or whatever you know whatever that number we get to and uh the first thing we start talking about is special teams and how how many how many teams can he start on how many how many teams could we see him contributing on by the end of the year that's those are the people that are the the longest conversations uh there's some guys you know right now that are slam dunk red shirts and there's some guys right now that are slam dunk but they're going to play and those are pretty pretty quick discussions so it just it varies he did not not in him not I, heated. The, the only thing is, you know, my chair is, you know, are we going to play this guy? You know, we had a kid, whatever, eight, nine years ago now, played like 15 plays in his true freshman year, and that that's not fair to him, and that's not fair to our special teams, not, not in his case on our defense. And so just making sure that doesn't happen or trying to make sure that doesn't happen because it can very easily. Uh, and so just trying to, you know, make sure some guys are – full go type mentality and some guys are off limits. Can you tell us now who some of those guys are who will definitely not redshirt? I can't. I'd tell you but I'd have to kill you. (laughs) Mark, go back to pressure real quick and expectations we were talking about. Is that just a byproduct of more money, more exposure um, in college athletics and college football? Or has that always been there? We just didn't know it because now we have access to so many more opinions. Have you seen, I guess, in your coaching career, pressure, outside pressure change? Expectations. Um, I don't think I don't think necessarily. I think I think more people have a voice, and and uh, the good or bad of that you can debate. Uh, you know, I've said it before. People, you know, at what I say. What was my what was my Twitter handle before? At rock what whatever it was. Rockhead. Rockhead. Yeah. At rockhead <laughs> dot something. That used to be two guys in a bar, and now it's a guy on the internet speaking to billions, and that you know. But it's really the same opinion, and so. Whether you listen to that one opinion is is up to you, but um, I think there's always been expectations, there's always been pressure, um, and certainly you know what you said absolutely lends to to more um, awareness or urgency or yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're right, name a starting quarterback. Obviously, you were named starting Sorry. quarterback obviously in college. Can you go back to your memory? Was it injury by like seven guys were hurt? Well, <laughs> that might be the legend. When when that happened. What was that moment like? I mean, these guys are about to live through a lot of anxiety and finally the moment. Um, what was that like for you? And because you went through that, do you try to take that into account for how you approach this and how you break the news? Um, yeah, I don't remember exactly uh, the emotions of all of, of that. Um, we just try to be honest, you know, try to be very, and, and throughout the process, you know, throughout really daily or, you know, and it's not like you're going to, you don't want them to think, again, every throw is the most important throw in the history of the world because that, that kind of handcuffs the, the situation. But at the same time, you want to keep them abreast of, of where they are relative to everybody else and, and just being honest with them. I think along that, you know, two, four, six, eight days, how, you know, however it goes, um, is key. And, and we're going to need every one of these guys um, in whatever their, their role is this year to be great. And so uh, we need them and, you know, they have about a, you know, I tell them every year, at, you know, I've dealt with that position for a long time and they have about a 12 hour pouting period and come back and they have to be able to take over the team if, the, if that guy, whatever, sprains his wrist the next morning making his bed, he, that other guy has to lead the program and so it's a weird psychological deal as well. So how did Palazzolo break the news to you? <laughs> he said, man, we don't, we don't have anybody else. It has to be. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Mark.